We have to stand for the First Amendment. One of the things that defines American tech companies and that has allowed us to lead the world in innovation is the First Amendment. Uh, so we shouldn't have companies censoring speech. At the same time, companies do have a responsibility to make sure that they're removing bots from their platform, to make sure they're removing hate speech or speech that incites violence. These are difficult questions, and frankly, what we need are new schools of ethics, uh, just like we've had uh, schools of ethics in journalism for these new media companies. I think it's an issue that the country is dealing with, and there's not a perfect answer. Do you think this is something that the companies should do themselves, or is this something that should be regulated? I think we need both. I mean, I, there is, if there is speech that is inciting violence, or hate speech that is oppressing uh, people of color or minority communities, uh, Facebook and these companies should be taking it down. Uh, Congress also needs to set those standards. For example, they need to have disclosure standards for ads. They should be having to disclose who's paying for the ads. And they should have the same standards as broadcast television. You shouldn't be able to run an ad on social media that you can't put on television. So you need sensible regulations. But I, I don't think, for example, that we should be uh, suspending President Trump from being on Twitter. I disagree with almost everything he tweets out. But we do have a First Amendment, and the President of the United States should be able to express their view. I believe in John Stuart Mill. At the end of the day, you have information out there, and the truth will prevail. You do bring up a good point. Mark Benioff, who is the CEO of Salesforce, was saying just last night at an event, Facebook should not be allowed to publish ads that are fake, frankly, that if his Time magazine did the same thing, he'd be in a heap of trouble. So you think that's something that Facebook really should be a little tougher on, particularly as it pertains to political ads? Well, again, I think that the standards for Facebook would, should be the same as the standards for a magazine or the standards for television. These are new media companies, and they shouldn't be able to uh, publish ads that are libelous or slandering or that uh, are, would not pass the test of what it would be to advertise on CNBC or NBC. Let me read you something that Mark Zuckerberg said today in his speech at Georgetown, Congressman. I'll get your reaction to it. And it's much along the lines of what you're discussing now and in part on what Courtney asked you. Quote, given the sensitivity around political ads, I've considered whether we should stop allowing them altogether. From a business perspective, the controversy is certainly not worth a very small part of our business they make up. Do you think that Facebook should have any political ads on the platform at all? Absolutely they should. I think it would actually probably be a, a violation of the First Amendment uh, for Facebook to say that they're not going to allow political speech. I mean, they're a huge platform, just like uh, I have the right to protest in a community or stand outside a shopping center and leaflet. Uh, Facebook has to allow political discourse. The question is, how are they going to re allow it responsibly, uh, and how are they going to make sure they protect the First Amendment uh, while not allowing hate speech or propaganda? These are tough questions, and that's why we need more humanistic thinkers dealing with this, but Facebook can't absolve itself of the responsibility to deal with those hard questions. Do you, you think they can legitimately and realistically do both? I mean, it, it sounds like a good answer, but put they it in, into practice is, a, is much more difficult, is, is it not? It is, but there's artificial intelligence technology that's going to allow them to review a lot more. And look, other industries have done it. How did television figure it out? How did newspapers figure it out? How did magazines figure it out? They all did it. They had the balance. They don't censor ads. I mean, you would put on my ad or a Republican's ad, but if I put on an ad on CNBC that was outrageous, it wouldn't be allowed. So if other industries can do it, I see no reason that social media companies can't do it. They just need to put more resources and effort into solving these complex issues. But CNBC or any other television network could, could easily say, for whatever reason, Congressman, I'm sorry, we, we're not going to run your political ad. Why shouldn't Facebook have the same, the same power? They do, but uh, you, you've, broadcast... You've no, but you suggested that they have to because it's a First Amendment issue. And, and, and CNBC couldn't say, we're not going to run political ads, nor could broadcast television. And broadcast television under the FCC is not allowed to censor speech. So broadcast television or CNBC started saying, we're going to only run Democratic ads or we're only going to run commercial ads and not political ads. That would be unconstitutional under the court. So what I'm saying is Facebook does have to run ads, uh, but they shouldn't be censoring those ads and they should have the same regulatory framework that uh, broadcast television or a lot of cable news is governed by.
Representative, before we let you go, we'd like to get your thoughts on where you stand on the size of some of these big tech companies, Facebook, Google, Amazon. We know the presidential candidate, Elizabeth Warner, is interested in breaking up some of these companies. Where do you stand there? Well, the question is not the size. The question is what is helping competition, what is helping the consumer, and what is helping small business. So I would strengthen antitrust laws. Let me give you a very quick example. I would make sure that companies on Amazon, for example, Amazon shouldn't be able to copy them and sell on their own platform competing with small businesses. Let's figure out how we strengthen antitrust law, uh, not just uh, reflexively talk about breaking companies up.